Welcome to City News. Plummeting temperatures expected overnight has triggered the city to open a surge capacity warming center to help get those experiencing homelessness off the streets. So the Cecil Community Center here located in the Spadina and College area opened its doors just a few minutes ago and will have space for 30 more people. But advocates say it's still not nearly enough and that this cold snap should be treated like an emergency. The situation is no longer dangerous. We passed that. The situation is deadly. The city's ongoing shelter crisis is only being magnified by the bitter cold. On average, more than 300 people are being turned away every day. And with five warming centers now open, adding just over 200 beds to the system, outreach worker Rafi Aaron tells me it's still not nearly enough. It's not if people will die if they will have frostbite, uh, if digits and limbs will be amputated. It's just how many. Last night, one of the outreach volunteers said to me that they're haunted by what they're seeing. The city's four main warming centers have been overflowing since they opened on the weekend when temperatures dipped to the new threshold of minus five. And with bitter cold setting in overnight, dropping below the next threshold of minus 15, the city says this allows them to open the additional spaces here at the Cecil Community Center. Obviously 30 spaces is, is, is not enough. Well, it, it's not enough. Um, we have a system that is incredibly tight and that's why you'll have heard it uh, for months now, even since the summer. Not only have we been flagging that we're full here in Toronto, but we're flagging that when the winter comes, it's going to be very tight and it's going to put too much pressure on the people who need the services. So that's why Mayor Chow and the city have been calling on the federal government to step up and so that they can pay for the refugee claimants who are currently occupying half of the shelter system. But at this point, advocates say the city should be prioritizing lives over money. This is why we have an Office of Emergency Management. It should be used right away. Hundreds upon hundreds of beds need to be opened up now. You're helping 30 people, but you're not helping the hundreds. And that's why something massive has to take place. I do agree that all levels of government have to be responsible in funding services for folks, but at this point, how many people have to die before we decide that it's, you know, important enough that we're going to open up spaces? Now, between shelters, the warming centers, and respite sites, the city right now is servicing about 13,000 people. And keep in mind that this location here, the Cecil Community Center, is only opens. It only opens up when temperatures dip to at least minus 15.